what are the dietary laws in the Old Testament? Because people love the New Testament because they can eat what they want. <laughs> but in the Old Testament, what are the dietary laws and what are the scriptures that say what we cannot eat? In Leviticus chapter 11 and Deuteronomy chapter 12 and chapter 14 and chapter 32 Deuteronomy, okay, gives the guidelines on what we should eat, how we should eat it, okay, uh, it gives the, the guidelines on all clean uh, animals that we can eat and how we must eat them. We cannot eat uh, the animals that we are able to eat that are considered clean by Yah. Uh, we cannot eat the fat. We cannot eat the blood. Okay, the blood is the life. So we don't eat that. We eat them done. Okay, not with any blood in them. Uh, and we don't eat the fat because, again, the fat, I mean, it's just... That's logical. When you eat the fat, it's going to clog your arteries because that's fat that cannot be digested. And eventually, if you do this over a period of time, you're going to have arteriosclerosis, heart disease. I mean, and if you eat unclean things, quite naturally, uh, the body cannot break that down. This body is a machine, okay? And just like one uh, would not uh, put dirty gas or or corroded gas or oil into their automobile or truck and they make sure that they change the oil and the filter on their truck you're not going to put anything unclean and filthy into your body if you understand what you should eat to make this body run is as clean and as efficient as possible so it's fish okay to eat fish yes but anything out of the waters has to have fins and scales this is why catfish tuna fish all your crustaceans, crab, lobster, clam, oyster, snail, crawfish, all of that is unclean. Uh, but you'll find that many of these things I just named are considered delicacies, okay, with a high price on them. People shouldn't be eating them anyway. That's why just, just like we see what happened in the, uh, the uh, Gulf, okay, in, in, in America uh, with the oil gushing. Uh, it, it just basically stopped all of that from being sold. So wait, wait, so I can't have any salmon? Salmon is fine because salmon has fins and scales. Salmon has fins and scales. Right. Now, what about chicken? Chicken is an unclean animal. Chicken, uh, many people from the South call it yard bird. I mean, people that uh, from the South that were around farms, they know the characteristics of a chicken. A chicken will eat anything that it can get into its mouth. It will eat its own feces. They're scavengers. So, like, totally. what about pigs are scavengers, right? Absolutely. So, no pig. No pig. No bacon. No bacon. No ham. No ham. No ch <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what about turkey? Turkey is in the buzzard family. So, as you go into Leviticus 11, it says we are not supposed to eat unclean birds. Uh, after its kind. So the turkey's in the buzzard family, so therefore it's unclean. So, so lamb and salmon is okay. Oh, lamb and salmon is fine. As long as you cook it, we're done and no, don't eat the fat. And wow. again, now today, because we are uh, the world, the people of the earth are put upon by these super farms that are controlled and set up by the adversary, the sins of Esau, uh, these Illuminati bankers, uh, these super farms. That's why, it, we, as we said in the past, through from the Great Depression on up to today, the uh, Illuminati bankers have done their best to put farmers out of business. And this is why now uh, we have all of these uh, meats that are in the, in, in for public consumption, put forth for public consumption, that are raised on growth hormones and shot up with antibiotics. That's no good. 